<laughs> why? Well, here's why, Scott. I'll give you a great example. I mean, I won't give you specific names because I think you wanted me to hold back on other names. But I will tell you, these triple-digit, quad-digit type names in terms of P.E. or no P.E. at all, Yes, they've been cut in half or more. When you look at a lot of these various names, names that were $400 plus dollar stocks are now trading below 200. I think that does create some sort of an opportunity to take a look and trade it, not own it. So I want to be very, very specific. I do not own the ARC stock. I own ARC calls, which gives me the opportunity to maybe get a ride if we start to see that particular space pick up a little bit better. And we have seen a little bit of that. We're starting to see a little bit of a lift from some of those various areas that do have these incredible PEs or no PE. And I think that there's an opportunity to trade that. That being said, again, I want to be very specific. I am not buying the stock. I'm not buying the stocks in those names. But I do think there are opportunities to trade it, given the fact of where they were, where they went to after their IPOs, and where they've dropped to now. I think there are that has created some opportunities, at least in my opinion. I mean, you're still making the same sort of call, just on a shorter-term basis. I mean, right? I mean, that's yes. what we're talking about With here. Limited you, risk. you still think the value of it is going higher You've just limited your risk by doing it on a shorter term basis and putting less capital at risk. Yeah. Right. That's a, the big key is this, the capital at risk, because you've got to be willing to and understand in the options world that obviously not every single trade is going to work. But with the stock side of it, you can really get harmed pretty significantly if you're wrong, like so many people were when they were chasing after some of these names. And those names were trading at 350 and 400. Now they're trading under 200. But that's why the options give you that, that opportunity to jump in and in a time frame, whatever that time frame is. It doesn't have to even be short, Scott. You could go out in time. You can turn it into spreads. There's a whole lot of different ways <coughs> you can attack the markets. And I think this is the way you could trade this specific area of the market. Like I say, I don't own the stocks. I wouldn't want to own those specific stocks that I've talked about, but it gives me the opportunity. Now, there are some high PE names that I've owned the stock in. There's no doubt about it, but there are reasons behind that where I've got implied volatilities that give me an opportunity to sell options against those positions that are absolutely ridiculous and give me that much more uh, confidence that I can hold on to some of those names. How about you also bought Coinbase calls I'm looking at right now i mean yeah. crypto very much yeah. in the conversation today because the volatile weekend right. where you had you know bitcoin down around 30 32 ish or some you know ab about that level yeah. ethereum got smoked mm -hmm. as well yeah yeah those the, when you look across the whole crypto space scott you're exactly right they were getting absolutely hammered i mean when you look at the volatility in that crypto space bitcoin specific but a, a, a pick, take a pick of your name yeah they're extremely volatile right now that tells me that a name like a Coinbase, I can trade it. Again, this is one of those names where I do not own the stock. I don't want to own the stock, but I'm going to trade the options in it. And we saw some significant upside call buying just last week in Coinbase. Gives you an opportunity to be there. And if I'm right and we see an acceleration of some of that activity, I think that's a great opportunity. But I don't think for a longer term that this is something that I'd, I'd want to own the stock in. I'd much prefer just trading around with Coinbase and some of the other names that are out there in the crypto space. As we were just talking about Kathy Wood and, and the ARK stock, too obviously tesla comes to mind degas which you own um, which is interesting to me if this is correct you're underweight relative to your your other holdings but you do own tesla the stock gets initiated today equal weight at wells fargo securities 590 dollars is the price target it's a couple of percentage points higher from where we are right now give me your view on tesla knowing that i'm sure you know bunch of folks who are watching us right now are probably involved in one way or the other. Yes, yeah, Scott. So what we look at is that we look at it from a shareholder's value. And so we go through a look at the evaluation, the profitability of Tesla and also the expectations for Tesla. And so what we have done is that we've underweighted our exposure. We still have exposure, but we've underweighted it because we don't see as positive outlook as the, the note that you mentioned. So and that's what, where we are with Tesla, because ultimately we have to have some exposure to Tesla because of the size of it is in our benchmark. But once again, we don't see a lot of upside in the short term for Tesla going forward. And that's why we underway.